Hi everyone, and we're back. Uh, we have uh, lost inter connection to internet, but we're back. So the topic is how to integrate bitcoins on your site, and uh, it will be hosted by Tito. Hello, people. On the agenda, we have first introduction, second BitPay, third requirements to use BitPay, fourth integrate BitPay in an example site. So, Tito will pick it up now. Well, like Claudia said, uh, we are talking about how to integrate uh, payment methods uh, in your site. Well, uh, all of you probably know what Bitcoin is the most popular digital currency nowadays. Sorry, we have a problem in your connection. Well, all of you probably know what Bitcoin is, the most popular digital currency nowadays. If you have an online store, probably you use some method to receive payments using an API that enables you to access, pay or send money like the biggest PayPal. All of you must know PayPal. Now, today I will tell you how can you do that for Bitcoins. To do so, I will use the popular BitPay. And what is BitPay? BitPay is one of the most largest global Bitcoin payment provider, founded in 2011 by Antonio Galippi and Stefan Pear. BitPay provides a secure and easily integrate Bitcoin as a payment option. BitPay it's similar to PayPal with difference of BitPay, it's for payments with Bitcoins. Well, uh, you need to respect some requirements to use BitPay. To use BitPay, you must have a Bitcoin wallet. Doesn't matter if you have a mobile, a desktop or a web wallet. The important thing is have one to receive payments. We're talking about BitPay and you must have an merchant account. Get one at bitpay.com. That account will be created and validated by BitPay when you sign up the service. After sign up, you will need an API key from BitPay. This key provides the security mechanism for all clients. Interaction with BitPay server. So you can get API key when you're logging into Mercant account. You must go to my account and create a new API access key. So <laughs> to get this key, you have to log in, log in Mercant account, go to my account and choose API access keys. Uh, I'm talking about requirements to use BitPay and now to sign up or log in and get your Mercant account API key, you, you have to go to the site bitpay.com. Okay, I will show you the site. Here it is bitpay.com. Here you can sign up or log in and get your, if you sign up, you, you can get your, your American account. This, this account will be validated by, by BitPay. 
another uh, another thing thing you uh, think you need to to implement your your in your site this method of payment using BitPay. It's some resources you can get on GitHub. Okay, if you if you go to bitpay.com slash developers, you can you can get that that resources. Uh, you can see here you have an, a tab with some languages. Uh, you choose your language and you can download the resources here. Okay. I, I choose C Sharp because my example is based on C Sharp. Previously, I downloaded this these resources, and and I create an an app to to example, and uh, I will show you. Okay, my my example. Uh, my my example it's it's something like this, uh, an iframe with information for potential buyers make payments, and this iframe will be generated by BitPay and returned through an URL. Okay, now I will show you how how can you do this and implement um, a payment method uh, with BitPay. I will use Visual Studio to to create my example. Okay, I'm here. Uh, of, of resources you download uh, of GitHub, you need five files: bitpay.cs, bitpay exception, invoice CS, invoice params, in, and rates. Okay, to create my example, I will put here an ISP button to to call the method will generate the invoice. Okay, uh, I will create a button, ISP button, ID, uh, anything. And now we'll put a, some text. Uh, Will, I will put BitPay, BitPay test. Okay. Now I'll put here Renat server to call a method on click to call to the method. I will call Bayer button okay and, and now I will create the iframe to receive the the pay, payment information from bitpay okay an iframe with an ID the, the ID will be Pay iframe, it pay iframe, not server two. Okay. Now I will go to server side and create the method. We'll call the we'll call the bitpay buyer button that one Okay, here I will call BitPay. Uh, I'm creating an object BitPay.
Here it's important you have to put your bit pay API key. This key you can get when you create your market account. And here I will put the currency I will use. In this example, in dollars. Okay, now. Now I will I will set some parameters for invoice. First I need to create object invoice params. Okay, for this I will create an object invoice params and call invoice params. Okay. Now I will set the invoice params. You can choose a lot, a lot of a lot of parameters to, to define this invoice. We will put here something, for example, an address equals and we'll put okay bear address another one invoice parents as you can see you can put a lot a lot of a lot of parameters to to define this invoice okay i will put another another one the name and here your name okay you can you can put here more and more invoice parents the parents you wish and now now uh, you can set the price the price of your of your sale i'll put here an exa with with my example one this price will be in dollars because I define here in BitPay my currency in dollars. And next, we will create the invoice. I create an object invoice, name of invoice, and I will create it with my object BitPay. And I tell to create invoice and I pass here two things my price and my parameters. Okay, and now After create invoice, the invoice will return an URL to fill my iframe. For this, I will put bitpay iframe equals to invoice.url. Okay. Here I will go to BitPay, uh, BitPay iframe attributes, add, I will put to my source, the invoice URL. 
Okay. With this, I'm able to run my example and creating a payment. So let's try if this function. Okay. Okay. It's my example. The button I, I had created. And when I click here, my, my button called method where where I create the the invoice okay and click okay with problems with with network Okay, I will stop my application and I will put another time. Okay, everything is okay. Play. Okay, now probably will works. Okay, now click on BitPay on BitPay button and this trigger my method and okay. Here is our example, an iframe returned by BitPay. And now the, the potential buyers can pay with Bitcoins uh, and, uh, and you, uh, as you as merchant uh, will receive a confirmation with payment when the buyer sends the complete payment. So you can use a handler to receive the payment confirmation. So with that simple example, you are able to start integrate BitPay on your site. Uh, so uh today we have some problems and webinar it's not easy to to do in that in that with that difficult uh, and for me it's all and i hope you can you you can integrate now uh, your your payment method with bitpay uh, thanks thanks all of you for joining us at this webinar if you have uh, if you have uh, doubts, uh, please contact us. Okay, guys, as Tito said, uh, if you have any questions, just email him at tito at bindtuning.com or at Twitter, Tito Pinto 89. And we also have the resources, our knowledge base the webinars page and our articles at the academy uh, and also the tour at bindtuning.com slash tour so thanks for being patient and uh, for watching the webinar we'll see you next time and bye